I'm AJ Kenny. Today, we will be looking at changes to sports and other activities affected by COVID. But first, the schedule at Hawthorne High School has affected all of us in good and bad ways. More about these changes from Jordan Mora. Has been changed multiple times to accommodate the students and the unpredictableness of the virus and to protect the students. Some schedules have been harder to adapt to. As we are entering marking period four, we are entering the phase four schedule that has students coming in all five days a week in a hybrid setting. Uh, the schedule change didn't really impact me in a good or bad way. It's It was kind of something I had to get used to and it's something I just kind of took up over time. When I spoke to Dante, he said that the schedule has not affected him because he's completely virtual. He says this is good because he hasn't had to adapt to any change. I feel like we were doing good at first, like with the schedule and the timing. But then like this marking period, I feel like I've been getting tired a lot because they removed the Wednesdays. And that's like when I got like, to get to sleep the most or extra. So, yeah. During the first marking period, we went to school for two days a week and stayed home two days a week. During those two days, we had no meetings and had time to make up a missing work. During marking period one, we also had a complete virtual day, which was Wednesday. The second marking period, we were completely virtual and had all our classes online. In the third marking period, we went to school two days a week and they introduced everybody back to the building. And we also stayed home for two days a week and had our completely virtual day on Wednesday. Um, I feel like it's some normalcy. It'll feel like a normal full week of school, which uh, I think many kids need and we can be social and learn the correct way. Dr. says he just is going to miss the extra hour of sleep. I don't like it at all. I hate it. No offense to the school, but I just don't like it. Students learn differently and some prefer the full virtual schedule while others like being in person. Um, I think being in school is the ideal schedule for me. I think it's easier for a lot more kids to learn because you're in school and you're surrounded by other kids learning and that's how it's supposed to be. Dante says that he the one that we had the third marking period with like it gives them more time to complete two classes on ADs on Monday and Tuesdays, then Wednesdays was afternoon classes. And you like that one the most? And Friday's was B day classes. The many schedule changes could have a impact on students' grades. Some kids learned easier at home and felt it was easier to get work done, while others preferred being able to communicate more with teachers and were able to retain more information that way. Um, my grades probably have been a little bit better because I've been home and I've been able to spend more time on my homework. Uh, there's been a little bit less schooling and, and more time to work and more at home stuff. Dante said that his grades have been consistent and haven't really been impacted by the schedule. Not much. I still have the same grades. This year has been a has been a hectic and unpredictable one. COVID nineteen has caused multiple shutdowns and has changed many school situations. With all this change, many schedules have also been changed. Students have felt the impact of these changes. Some have benefited students, while others have not. We all hope next year returns closer to normal and we can enjoy a regular schedule in September. I'm Jordan Mora, and this is me reporting Bears today. Thank you, Jordan, for the information, but that's not the only thing that's changing this year. COVID had effect on sports this year. With the, these effects on the football season, we have more information from Gianna Molina. This school year is different due to COVID, but student athletes are trying to feel some normalcy. The football team was the first team to get back to playing. They had many different things to deal with. Even with all the preparations, COVID still had an effect on the team. No, not really. Um, there was one. And it was coming after Pompton Leagues. We beat Pompton Leagues. And um, we were playing Harrison next. 
and um, or I think I think Harrison was at the Pomex. I don't really remember. It's kind of blurry. So like, um, I'm not gonna say any names, cause yeah. But um, there was one incident where you know, like I think one of the kids on our team, JV tested positive and like we were like mid practice on like a Tuesday and like Mazaka Art Mazaka came down and was like hey or like told Pizarro that like oh like we all have to go home and stuff and you know then Pizarro comes over to us like in the mid warm up and was like uh, everybody needs to go home like we're gonna have a, everybody we're gonna have like a meeting about it and like we're gonna talk to you guys about it and stuff and like all that stuff but that was like the only real like main incident I mean like I remember after we played Glen Rock there was a kid on Glen Rock that got it and passed it to like Pompton Lakes so like for us like we were like oh like do we have it after we just played Glen Rock now Glen Rock has it so like but that obviously never transpired like the contact tracing went through and like we didn't really we didn't really you know have that so that was the only real COVID related incident is when you know one of the kids tested positive and we just had to get sent home yeah before and one of our games got cancelled and we made up for it we played Montclair Kimberly Academy later in the year so it's the only real one um yes there was one COVID related incident um I remember we were um practicing uh we were we were actually warming up to um it was after glen rock we were warming up um i want to say it was like the beginning of the week or maybe the middle of the week i'm not really sure um and then we were told that we all had to uh, go home just excuse me quarantine and just wait to hear from the school and see if we had contact tracing and most of us or I, i'm sure all of us on the football team got a call saying we had to quarantine and uh we were in contact and it was kind of it was really hard because we were afraid that the season was just gonna get cut like right there but we had a couple more games after that so we were fortunate enough to get those but during those quarantine two weeks um we just would uh, have team zooms and just exercise and just keep us in shape for when we were able to get back onto the field our players response to the team dealing with COVID through the years were mixed. I feel like the coaches, the coaches really did a good job, you know, really like, you know, keeping us, you know, separate and, you know, enforcing us, you know, to wear masks and social distance and, you know, just so we wouldn't get shut down. Um, You know, like kind of like the process was like, uh, you get there, you get to school and like, you know, um, you know, like they take your temperature or whatever and you get, we have a little sway app and do like a little survey, like, oh, do you have a headache and stuff? And then you fill out your temperature and then you're, you're scanned, you're clear to go. And you go down and like, you know, we get, get dressed and all that stuff, but you, you'd stay distant from people, have your mask on and stuff. Um, the rule was when, you had your helmet on in practice and when, like when you were actually like practicing you were allowed to have your mask off but like when you were just standing around and like waiting to go for a drill or whatever like you had to have your mask on and stuff so i feel like um the code the coaches obviously they did a great job kind of enforcing that and keeping us safe and doing all that stuff so yeah it was an easy process it wasn't like it was a hassle to practice or play games or stuff so yeah well it was really difficult because it wasn't like any normal practices i played freshman senior year um i didn't play my entire high school career but 
I can definitely say that from when I played my freshman year, it was kind of different and like just witnessing like practices from my sophomore and junior year when like I would drive by the high school. It was definitely different from this year. We uh, had to go through phases to actually be able to um, like touch a football and to like get our helmets, get our equipment and all of that. Um, so yeah, we had to just be very cautious in the beginning and just cautious throughout the entire season. Yes, you know, like like I said in in the beginning, like the guidelines, you know, we had to stay away from each other, even even each other. Um, you know, wear a mask and sanitize and you know all that stuff. Like uh, even even at like the team dinners. Like, we had to have them outside, and, like, the only time you take your mask off at the team dinner was when you were eating. Every every time else, you had to, you had to put it on, and um, basically the, the usual guidelines. Just stay six feet apart and from each other just so we can, you know, have a season. Yes, we had to follow um, the socially distanced guidelines in the beginning. Like I said before... Uh, we had to follow those and then we would get scanned, like temperature scanned. And then um, on the way up, we'd get asked like questions if um, you've been in contact with someone um, or if you like, it would just ask you if you had these signs of COVID. And if you would say yes, you would get flagged and the trainer would get the message and she would like, she would just talk to you about it and just see what, if she should send you home or if uh, you're able to stay. Even with all the obstacles, the football team was able to get through their season. It was weird. It was definitely weird. Uh, you know, me being a senior, coming from three years of having people in the stands and cheering and stuff. It was. It was definitely weird. Um, but it was kind of like it was kind of like playing in the in like a game scrimmage every year. It was just quiet. You could hear everything on the field, like, and you couldn't hear much, like, because. And then it was we. It was also very weird because the band would play, and you don't really hear that during the game, like the band playing. Well, sometimes, but like, it was like loud. But you didn't really hear, like. It was weird having out having fans and. It was like a different atmosphere. It was ba- it was like practice. It was basically like game scrimmage every every week until like you know they let fans and then it started to get started to r- r- wild up and then we were like oh, okay like we still have some people so um nah it was definitely it was definitely weird you know not something I was used to and you other people too. Well, I wasn't a starter, um so. I can only imagine what the other guys, like the starters and everyone who played their whole career, whole high school career and their entire lives felt. Um, it was probably weird to um, look in the stands and just not see as many people as there usually were. Like when I went for my sophomore and junior year to the football games to support my town, um, there were a lot of people there. There were so many people there. And I loved going to and seeing how many people came out to support Hawthorne. And this year, we were fortunate enough to get two tickets per player for people to come in. But um, it just wasn't the same. And I just, it, it, I don't know. I had so many emotions looking into the stands. I was just like, I would, I was like that. If COVID wasn't a thing, that would be more people. But we're fortunate enough to, we were fortunate enough to get two tickets per player to come and watch. And yeah, I'm not really sure. Um, <laughs> that's like, I would say it was hard in the beginning because to play football, you need contact. It's a contact sport. And in the beginning, we weren't able to con- have like contact with people. We, were, we had to socially distance. So they were very strict about it because they didn't want us to get shut down, which is reasonable. We all wanted a season. And they 
they were able to get us to do stuff like just to stay active like we ran we um wide receivers would run routes um running backs would i'm not running back so running backs would do what they want to do um offensive linemen would do what they want to do etc what they just what they do in normal practice but except without the contact and so the beginning was definitely hard but when we were able to have contact with each other I say it would got it would gotten it got a lot easier. The team was able to meet many goals in this unusual season. <sighs> That's tough because like you know, I feel like no, nobody's season was I mean what they wanted. I mean did we win the the do do we get division champs? Yes, that's that's that was one of our goals going into the season was be division champs, and you know that was one of our goals. So we accomplished it. We took all the right precautions. We did it, even though if if we were tied for the division or not, we still got the job done. So, um, obviously COVID, you know, really put a dim on what we could accomplish this season alone but I feel like our team this year we did accomplish a lot and like we accomplished way more than people thought like came out against Saddlebrook and won and then New Milford and beat them and then we beat Pompton Lakes and I feel like that's when people really started like open their eyes a little bit like oh like we're we may not like you know we may have not looked like we're, we have a good shot, but we we are definitely no team to play with. And then it was like our, I feel like our defense was really like, you know, kicking. So, um, and then, you know, Harrison and stuff, we didn't have that game. And then, then like Glen Rock, you know, that was a tough game. So that was definitely tough. But, and then Montclair we won and then, and then Garfield at the end of the year we we did not win we we lost we just so close but um beating beating Pompton Lace was also one of our goals so for us to say that we didn't accomplish any goals would be an understatement because we won the we won the division Liberty division we beat Pompton Lakes um those are those are two that I know that all of us all the whole team had as goals going into the season um obviously a, f uh, a five and two f four and two record like it's pretty good for having you know a shortened season and stuff not the season we would want but is what it is so yeah yes we had a list of what we wanted to accomplish and we were able to accomplish being division champs. Um, we accomplished going one and zero. Um, I'm blanking. I'm blanking out. <laughs> and we were able to beat Pompton. Uh, I would say beating Pompton was very exciting because, <laughs> um, of course, there are rivals and. We just we just wanted to crush them. We just wanted to go at them. We went we went out onto the field and gave them gave all we got, and we were able to beat them. And yes, it was a very good game. <laughs> the high school sports season has been a difficult one, but the Bears football team was able to have a memorable season. That is the news for Bears today. Thank you for watching. I'm Gianna Molina. Thank you for the information, Gianna. Lastly, the girls' soccer season had a very successful season. Ella Sachs has that story. The 2020s varsity girls soccer team won their league undefeated with a strong group of girls. Unfortunately, they had lost their final state game, but had so much fun connecting and coming together for the season. I think I was very fortunate to have uh, a very talented group. This was probably the most talented group I've ever had. Uh, but the fact that 
they're all willing to do and deal with things. I think uh, that the whole COVID thing probably brought them together more than anything else because it would seem like, let's just hope it doesn't happen to us this week. And my favorite part of the soccer season was bonding with my team and meeting a lot of new girls and coaches. So much fun to watch. Every single game was exciting. All the way through the state playoffs was just uh, just an amazing uh, opportunity for us. And I look forward to a really great future uh, next year and, and, and to come for them. Uh, the team really came together during these hard times of COVID and made it work. They put as much as they could into being able to play this year. It definitely uh, presented different challenges. Um, with the restrictions, you know, early on where everybody was in pods, that, that was new to everybody, not just to our sport, but to every sport. But I think that what made it easier was that all the girls on the team were very cooperative. I would say that, you know, this year, because it was so uncertain, I, I felt like the coaches and the girls really appreciated how much time they have together and they appreciated uh, what they do together on the field. With the season coming to an end, many of the girls appreciated playing this year over others because it was so uncertain whether or not the season was going to happen. They made it work, though, and finished the season out strong. Thank you so much, Ella. That will do it for this edition of Bears Today. Thanks for joining us. Make sure to tune in next time. Have a great day, and go Bears.